Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will see how to do API chaining with a JSON response in Catalon Studio. In the last session we have already seen how to extract a value from a XML response and then provide that value in any subsequent API request and we have used a SOAP API for that and today we are going to use a REST API and see how to do that with a JSON response. So let's get started and I will go to my Catalon Studio and here this is the project that I created in the last session. So here I'm going to get some REST APIs. The country info service was a SOAP API that I used earlier. So I'm going to take some REST API. So I will search for sample REST API for testing. And here, uh, here we have this REQ RES dot in this website has some good REST APIs for testing. So here you can see this has some fake APIs that we can use for testing and these are REST APIs. I will also make all these URLs available so that you can refer them. So I will put it here. And here you can see if you go down we have a lot of APIs. We have get, post, put, patch, delete and so on. I am going to use this list users get API. So I will copy this URL and put it in a new tab and then I will copy the rest of the endpoint from here and again add it here and this is our API endpoint if I run this you can see we are getting the response so I will copy this URL and go to my Catalon Studio in the object repository I will first do a right click and create a new folder I will say this is user rest service and inside this folder I'm going to create a new web service request which is list user this is restful and this is the URL I will say okay and you can see this is this has come here uh, there is no authorization required for this particular sample API in case you have some API that requires authorization you can add it here uh, there is no HTTP header required no body required this is the verification tab where we can add some snippets and then uh, variables we will see what to do uh, about all this and let me just run this for now and check if we are getting a valid response and yes I am getting status 200 ok and I am also getting the list of users so here you can see we are getting a list of users with this API so this is working fine let me now take another API uh, I am going to take a, a update API so this is put and I will again copy the URL and put it in a new tab and also copy the rest of the endpoint from here and add it here so this is the API endpoint I will copy this and go to my Catalon Studio and create a new web service request which is update user and this is the URL and OK and here this is going to be a put so I will change the HTTP method here and now because this is a put we will also need a HTTP body so I will get this body from here and I will add it here and let me make this JSON and if I go to the HTTP header you can see the content type header is already generated and the value is application JSON so if I run this now it should give me a valid result so let us wait and check so yes you can see it has updated the user and this is the response I'm getting uh, now I can also add some verification points here or some verification snippets if you go to the verification also make sure that uh, the Catalon Studio version you are using as of now I'm using version 5.8.4 which is the latest version at the time of recording this video so I'm getting all these options and you can see in the verification I can go here and click on show snippets and here are some snippets that you can use for verification for example I can check status code is 200 if I click here you can see we have got a snippet generated which is checking the status code is 200 so we have created our two APIs I will save everything and now we have to get the response value from the first API for example I will get the name Charles from the response of first API and I have to provide that name 
here in the body or in the request of second API at the place of name here. So here what I will do is I will get this from a variable. So I will say dollar and curly braces and let me create a variable say username. So I am referring a variable called username and as of now I have not yet created or generated this variable. So I will go to the variable section and say add and I will say username and now I can give a default value here but I want to take it from a global variable. So I will go to profiles and the default profile is already there. The country ISO code is something we created in our last session when we saw how to chain API using XML. I am going to create another variable here and let me name it as username and I can give some default value but let me keep it as it is blank now and say ok and in my API I will refer it so I will say first I will save it so that the variable is available in the drop down I will say this is global variable and here now in the drop down I should have username so this is what I am going to use and let me just try to put something here just for checking I will put a value I will say Alex and say OK and here if I run this now let me try to run this and check the response so here it is sending although I am getting 400 bad request so this is saying unexpected token so it is not able to uh, get our variable or process it properly so I think I will have to use this course here and save and run this again and let me now see and yes so you can see Alex is coming here so that means our API is running fine so I will also do one thing in the verification I will go to the snippets and or I will just go here and click on my value and press command plus k key on my keyboard if you are on windows you can press ctrl k and this will generate a verification for the name value and here it is Alex but I will change it to Charles because that is what I am going to get and refer it in the test case so this will verify that our reference is working properly or not so I have created this verification point and now we are going to create a test case and in the test case we will first call the list user API and get a value from there for example I will fetch the value Charles from the JSON response and then provide it to the global variable which is username and then in the update user API it will be referenced here so let us do that I will go to list user go to this plus drop down and say add to a new test case and I will say this is API chaining JSON say ok and you can see it is added here I in the output column I will create a variable say response one so that the response of this API is stored in this variable if I go to the script view let me minimize the import statements and I will press command plus on my keyboard to increase the font and you can see this is send request and our API and it is storing it in the variable called response one now we have to parse the JSON and fetch the a value from the JSON response and for that if you go and say JSON parser in Groovy you will get a lot of uh, articles here if I go to here parsing and producing JSON Groovy this is a very good article and you can get a lot of information from here so you can see we can use JSON slurper in Groovy to pass a JSON response and get the value now I am going to use very simple two statements which I have written here and this will do the job for us so this is what we are going to do and I will add it here so we are saying new groovy.json.slurper so we are creating a json slurper here and then using this slurper we are passing the text and here we have to give the variable where we have stored it so I have stored it in response1 I will say response1.getResponseBodyContent and now 
we have got our result variable and all the response is here and now I can use this result and provide the JSON path of the node or the element that I want the value from. Now to get this JSON path what you can do is you can either just take your JSON response for example in my case this is my JSON response I will copy it and go to Google and search for JSON Pathfinder so search for JSON Pathfinder so this is the URL jsonpathfinder.com put your JSON here and if you go here you can just see what you want for example you want Charles you can see this is the JSON path for that particular value you can also get a Google a Chrome plugin JSON Pathfinder so this is the JSON Pathfinder Chrome plugin you can click here once you add it to your Google Chrome and the same thing add your JSON and then just give the node name so I want first name I will give it here and say submit and you can see it has found it at three instances and this is the one we want so the JSON path is this one now in Catalon Studio also you can get it in the latest versions of Catalon Studio you can directly go to your API and go to verification and as I have shown you earlier just go to the value that you want and click on that value and press Ctrl plus K on your keyboard if you are on Windows and Command K if you are on Mac and it will create this verification snippet and you can see it here so this is the verification snippet and it also gives us the path of that particular node or element so I'm just going to take this and going to my test case and I'm, I will say using this result I will say result dot and the JSON path and I can store it in a variable called value so I will just say def value and I will store this and to verify I can also print it I will say print ln and value and I can also add a statement here and I will say value extracted is this so just to verify it I will run this now and check if we are able to extract the value properly with these statements so this is running fine uh, let us just wait and yes I think this is running fine if I go to the console uh, let us see and yes you are seeing value extracted is Charles so this is working fine now and here now I have to give this value to our global variable username so for that I will just say here global variable dot and the variable name is username equals to our value and again to verify I will just print out I will say print ln and I will say global variable dot username and I can add a statement before this I will just say global variable now is this and save and I will run again to verify if our global variable is set properly so this is running fine until now and yes everything is okay I will go to the console and you can see global variable now is Charles so this is set properly now I just have to call my next API and I do not have to worry about other things because I know in the API the name is being referred to from our global variables and we have already set our global variable in our earlier step so here I will go to my test case and I will say add web service keyword and I can say send request but I will select send request and verify so that our verification that we have added in the API are also verified and I have to call this API so I will drag and drop it here if I go to the script view you can see this has added here so I will save this and let me run this now 
and this is running let us wait for this run to get completed and then we will verify our results so yes this is running fine if you go to the console you can see everything is fine let me go to the log viewer and see you can see this is running fine and even our verification that we added is verified and everything is okay so our verification is now running properly so that means our value is now being referred properly and we are able to chain request we are able to chain api request and response so this is how you can do chaining of json responses in catalon studio i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching